former Cuban slash Irish heavyweight contender Mike Perez makes his cruiserweight debut on Saturday, June 10th at the SSE Arena, Belfast, live on Sky Sports. This will be Perez's first fight back since losing in one round to Alexander Povetkin. I believe that was a couple of years ago now. He has since trimmed down. He's been training in Virgil Hunter's gym. I'm not sure if Virgil Hunter actually trains him, but he's been training in Virgil Hunter's gym. He's got himself into tremendous condition. This is the best shape he's been in since he was an amateur. As an amateur, he fought at the 200 pound limit, which is heavyweight in amateur boxing. Uh, The weight above the 200 pound limit in amateur boxing is super heavyweight. So he's going to be taking on a guy called Tommy McCarthy. I'm not too familiar with Tommy McCarthy, I have to be honest. Uh, He was apparently recently outpointed um, by Matty Askin, who is the current British cruiserweight champion. So we'll see how Mike Perez does over there in Ireland at the SSE Arena in Belfast on June 10th. How he looks. He looks aesthetically good at the moment in terms of, you know, he looks in shape. But has he done the weight the right way? Can he be strong after losing so much weight? Because for a lot of his cruiserweight, sorry, for a lot of his heavyweight career, he was weighing over 230 pounds. So that's a lot of weight to lose. I'm going to quote Mike Perez directly here. He has uh, a few words to say. He says, I've been working very hard behind the scenes and I'm very excited about the McCarthy fight. Both of us need to win to move on to major titles and I'm happy to go into his hometown to get the opportunity. I'm ready to give the fans a great fight on June 10. So those are the words of Mike Perez. What do you think, people? Can he drop this weight and still retain his energy and strength? Or is it going to be a bit of a disaster? Eddie Chambers moved down in weight late on in his career. It didn't work out well for him. He was soundly beaten by Ilungo Makabu. Sorry, not Makabu. Who's the other guy that Makabu beat? I forget the guy off the top of my head. They call him The Rock. Oh God, my mind's gone blank. The little short southpaw that Makabu actually knocked out to become the mandatory for the WBC Cruiserweight World title. His name escapes me at the moment. Machunu, that's his name. To be so Machunu, yes. Uh, uh, Chambers was beaten by Machunu. Also, you had Chris Bird, who had his entire career at heavyweight. And very late in the game, he dropped down to light heavyweight. Now, that was more extreme than what Perez is doing, obviously. And it backfired in a very bad way for... Uh, for that guy. So yeah, let's see if it's the same for Mike Perez or if this is going to work out well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's Satman, I'm out.